when I, mean, I mean, you know, we have to wait yeah. some time. It's true. We're getting there. Something's oh. happening. <gasps> We're here. It's working. Oh, it's my working. Goodness. We're doing We're it. Here, We're here, everybody. Oh my god. It's like we know what we're doing. Oh, wow. It's like that. Oh wait, wait, hold on, ready? Not. What watch the video. Mm -hmm. It's working better than before. Hey! John's streaming it again. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. We raised enough money to have the stream go live. Uh thank you for your thank you uh so much for your help. Mm -hmm. in, in that and i hope everybody enjoys their new toaster mm -hmm. yep and uh with that uh thanks for joining us guys uh, it's been great and uh we'll catch you next and good night. it was a See really ya. good show everybody <laughs> i'm sorry you missed it <laughs> oh really awesome. john i forgot to record the audio for the whole thing too i guess we're out of show this week oh. Oh, what are you gonna do it was so good bye everybody Bye -bye. also <laughs> hey i am beetlejuice thank you much also uh dazzledorn thank you for the sub yeah Awesome. Dazzledorn's awesome as far as, you know, as, as like all the subs go. Uh, going crazy in the CTR area, that's all I'm saying. Awesome. It's uh, it's pretty it's pretty amazing. Okay, guys. Are you ready to do an actual show? Oh, that was just rehearsal. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're good now. We're ready to actually... All right. <clears throat> yeah, mm, gotta get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Welcome to Azeroth Roundtable, episode 312. My name is Ben Bumhofer. It is Friday. It's after a Q&A. The weekend's upon us, and I am excited. With me, as always, is John Jagger. How's it going, John? Hello, Ben. Despite being mildly concerned about your excitement, I am happy to be joining you here at the round table. It is Friday night, and we're not alone, Ben. You know, no, last we're week not. we got up to some trouble, just the two of us. <laughs> yes, we did, actually. In the chat room, which watched live on Twitch. In fact, I don't know if you saw the email we got after last episode. Mm, I don't know. We didn't get banned. We're back another week. True. This time we're true, gonna make true. it a threesome. Hi, Pat. Hi. <laughs> 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 that was um probably the best intro ever all right thanks <laughs> i'm just gonna say yeah i'm just gonna say it because now because now everybody's like oh my god maybe i missed something on last week maybe i need to go back to last week and see what actually happened <laughs> and so now they're going to go back to last week they're going to listen to all of last week and then they're going to come back to this week and go now i know what you're talking about yeah it's weird i went back just to see it again to relive last week's magic uh, and for some reason I couldn't find the part where we took our shirts off, but, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes it's hard to find that stuff. Right. But now at least uh, the, the World of Warcraft team has said, you know what? You can go bare-chested in yeah. the future. I am actually incredibly excited about this. Uh, not really, though, because for the most part I play female characters and they tend to keep their clothes on. But uh, I do like the fact that transmog can they're going to be able to take off everything except their pants. Right. But that, but, but the thing that I said uh, to, to, to Randy today, uh, our, our buddy who works over at Blizzard, he, I, what I, he said, he, he told people that they have to keep their pants on. And I said, but these are Raiders that we're talking about and nobody raids with their pants on. Honestly, nobody. I think pants are overrated in the world of Warcraft community. I think I think all World of Warcraft players know this. I don't know why Randy sure. would be telling people to put pants on. Podcasters, right. pants off profession. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, raiders, exactly. pants off profession. Gamers yep. in general, exactly. pants off profession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that. generally, any streamers or anything like that. Do you think that we're wearing pants right now? No. Come on. I mean, after every episode, I mean, we do have a pants off dance off. Everybody knows that. It's what we do. You have to. Hashtag pants off dance off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. But I don't know. Okay. So, John, I know that you are a total transmog like fiend. I am myself have dabbled. Uh, but Pat, are you someone who really tries to paper doll it up? So, so I don't, so I don't paper doll it up as so much as I, I really try to try to scruff it up. Probably. That's probably a better way to do it because okay. I take, like I am the ragtag transmog guy, 
Like, I will take any uh, scrap of cloth and try to make it weird somehow <laughs> um, uh, for my for my druid. And you guys can look this up. If you look up Fangnail on, on Warcraft, on worldofwarcraft.com uh, and on Airy Peak, you can actually see what my tra transmog is. He looks like he fell out of a forest. Uh, he has the um, the druid tier one shoulders, which is which are leafy and bushy. Uh, he has the tier one helm, which is a basically just horns out of his head. Okay. And he looks like a forest hobo. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then for my monk, my monk is named Doug D H U G. You can all look him up as well. And he looks like a monk. He has no shoulders. He has the uh, wrapped feet. And I tried to make him as as monkish as possible, but doing the minimum, just the mm -hmm. bare minimum to make him look like a monk. I'm not going to make him fancy. Just going to make him look like a monk. That's it. No, oh, I and see. I totally get that. that. That's one of the things about actually being a monk. That is a lot of fun is, you know, finding the right sort of, uh, I don't know, armor set to actually kind of transmog into. I mean, it's interesting because it's like, okay, I'm supposed to be, you know, kind of free form, able to move a whole bunch and everything. And then they throw all these armor pieces on you. That's like, not so right. much. Right. And why bother? Why bother with all that BS? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just, I'm, I just... I'm excited about our new shirtless future. You know, it's coming. <laughs> It's coming to World I mean, of Warcraft. Do, they do have some options for sh like a shirtless look, but it's not necessarily a disappeared chest completely. Right. Yeah. So. yeah. And and I, I I like it. Like I, I thought it was a really cool look for my warrior. I was very proud of the transmog. I had, you know, not a lot covering the top, but then I thought it looked really cool with giant, you know, gauntlets and big bulky boots and pants. I thought that look just seemed cool. No shoulders, no helmet. Nothing. Right. Nothing. So you don't. You don't need all that garbage. You can just. Uh, you, and now you won't need to have all that garbage. You can just wear pants and nothing else, and maybe some. Maybe it'll be hot pants. Right. And the best Very part true. is, shirts now suddenly have meaning in the game again. Like, remember when right. you got like an actual shirt, oh, not right. your armor, but like they're like, "Hey, you want a shirt?" And I'm like, "No, I don't want a shirt." When am I gonna win? Right. Here's what happens if I want to show people a shirt in the world of Warcraft. I take off my chest armor, I put it in a bag, and then I get yelled at in a week later when my raid team is like, John, your numbers are awful. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's because I took my armor off to be fashionable. My bad. <laughs> well, and, and I don't know if you guys saw the recent thing. Because of the, the, the new Kul Tiran race that's, the, that's out there you, that's playable, um, they actually did a, a a kind of a remake of the Princess Bride. So they had um, Fezzik and uh, Inigo Mentoria and uh, the other guy. Can't remember him. Yeah, uh, the smart guy. <laughs> yeah, you know. Him. Yeah, inconceivable. Uh, and, yeah, yes. and and so and so they did this uh, three piece thing with these guys there, and and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But Fezzik, he doesn't have the chest piece or anything like that. He's just wearing a shirt, right? So. Because he doesn't need anything else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now what's even better is, is if they are being absolutely literal about everything can be, you know, you can transmog it so it disappears. You can wear um, whatever the, the best in show shirt is without having a pink shirt on all the time. You can wear the stylish shirt so you can have those buffs on you all the time without the actual shirt showing now. Oh, look at that. Mm. That's awesome. I'm actually kind of excited about that a little bit. I'm going to get that shirt out of storage. I mean... I'm this the best a, in show. It's a whole new world, guys. Transmog. You That's don't right. have to wear a shirt, and you can carry a fish. Yes. Eventually. <laughs> the fish thing that I'm kind of excited about, too. Yeah. It should. <laughs> Why <laughs> not? Lie. Why not? <laughs> I feel like that needs to be the new policy for Transmog going forward. Transmog. Why not? Yeah. It might only make sense. Now, if only they can make certain, like, holiday items available all year round, then, you know, you can have your uh, Christmas in, in July. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yeah. So great. Well, you know, we'll put it on the, uh, we'll put it on the wish list. I yeah, need July are... <laughs> Christmas. There Blizzard. are plenty of wish lists that come with Transmog, unfortunately. <laughs> 
don't know. It's just one of those things that, like, you know, we all collectively play games to have a good time, to enjoy it. I've been thinking about this concept a lot lately. Not that, you know, to talk about one game, you have to drag another through the mud, but it's come up a lot recently because I got into Anthem, and that game was a bit of a letdown for me. And one of yeah. the big frustrations of Anthem was the parts of that game that feel fun... I feel like every time I start to have fun, someone runs into the room and slaps the controller out of my hand and goes, stop it. And I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just having fun playing this video game. And they're like, well, cut it out. It's not for you. And uh, so I was like, okay, okay. It's, it's fine. Uh, but occasionally, and while part of what got me into Warcraft uh, and WoW specifically was that feeling of, this is a game that wants me to have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result, I, you know, I spent a lot of time like really preaching that to people. Ben, I know I told you it. We've talked about it on the yep. show. I was like, you know, this is a game where it feels like every couple of hours, somebody comes into the room and gives you a present. Cause that's what leveling felt like back then. Oh, totally. you, know, you got something every level. And you leveled every couple hours. So it was like, oh, I just get stuff all the time. This is so good. Every now and then, you see Blizzard kind of fall back. And it's like, I think the toy box is the one that I always rally against. It's like, it's the most unfun toy box known to mankind. Like, here's a toy. Great, what is it? Well, you're going to have two seconds of fun followed by an hour cooldown. It's like, geez, I'm 13 again. And I have a story for you later, John. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I think occasionally they brush up against it. And to me, transmog was always that thing of like, well, you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. Why? Because we don't want you to have fun. That's why. <laughs> and so it's really nice to see them do something where they roll back the restrictions and they go, you know what? You want to mm -hmm. fight with a fish? Fight with a fish. You're right. You should be able to fight with a fish. I think that people enjoy a, a fish slap if you will. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, Definitely. it just makes sense. And, I mean, to be fair, my main hand was a fish at the beginning of, of the expansion because Ro got a second drop and he gave it to me. <laughs> so I was running around with my main hand as a fish, and it was of level and everything. So it's like, why can't we transmog fish? They're actual weapons now at level. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, salmon forehand. Yeah, just smash. A salmon smash. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Or, you know, like uh, for fist weapons, just, you know, shark shark faces. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that uh, There's that boss that fights with, uh, with sharks. With sharks yeah. on a, mm -hmm. He's a shark puncher. Yeah. yeah, he is. Exactly. If he gets to do it, out. why don't I? Like, it's the aspiration of bosses now. It should be my goal, too. Give yeah, me I'm... damn shark fists. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I mean, in theory, we are at least as strong as bosses because, you know, we beat them all the time and everything. They so call us champion. To, yes. We should be able to harness the power of shark. Mm -hmm. Just hands down. It's time. If tornadoes can do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which, by the way, pet battle wise, one of the best abilities is Carpnado. Absolutely love it. Little tornado with carp just goes across the little pet battlefield. It's so great. That's pretty awesome. So, John, I said I had a story to tell you. Oh, right. Sorry, I've been troubleshooting audio issues I know. this entire time. <laughs> that, that's one reason why I did my very abrupt segue into this. I've been trying to be a part of the conversation while not paying attention to the conversation <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I, I don't know if you saw or not, but they actually released two new toys into the, uh, the Blizzard store. Uh-huh. I did. Okay. And, Pat, I'm... I'm okay. <laughs> that was a yes... Perfect. I'm unaware. Well, Pat, I'm assuming you saw this. Uh, of you, course. You pay attention to things. John doesn't. No, I, 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 I don't really. Uh, just feel free to explain okay. to the entire bunch. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> there were two new toys that were added to the, to the Blizzard store, which, if I remember correctly, th these are actually the first toys that were put in there. So, you right. know, first of all, you think, hey, these should be a lot of fun because, you know, you're paying money for it and they're not going to have insane weird cooldowns, but... I, I don't exactly know if that's the case. So the first one is, is uh, like Horde and Alliance themed 
uh, fireworks. Like you, you, you buy the one, and then of course you get it for both sides. So yep. you know it, it shoots up, and it's like, hey, it's the horn symbol, or woohoo! Um, I I don't specifically know everything, but I think you can drop it on any like corpses. So like if you're doing battlegrounds, you can just drop it on a corpse, and then it just shoots off and everything. Wow. So. Uh, in in raid, in fact, uh, I think Tetsumi was saying Thist specifically would probably love it. That seems so. like a Thist thing, honestly. It really it does. does. Um, as for the other one, though, it is the Transmorpher or something like that. And basically, what happens is you drop it, and a uh, ethereal or that's what they are the the ethereals or whatever yeah. with the the wrappings yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so pops up in front of you and then you click him and then he turns you into a raid boss and or then a the dungeon sh- boss or yeah something like that so yeah. you're just a boss for and you get the buff for 20 minutes yes and i gotta say it's absolutely fantastic and is so much fun uh maui had one in our raid last night or wednesday night and uh, so he dropped it everybody got it the first boss i came up as i was black hand i'm like this is really cool that's a good one. So I oh, did yeah. that with I did that with several characters because I I was like, you know, I would like to support esports and I also have ten dollars. So let me mm-hmm. let me do this. And so I so I bought the thing and and tried it on multiple tunes. And I'm I was a little disappointed because I think three out of the five things that I tried the three out of the five characters that I tried it on turned into the first boss in freehold the, the pirate guy <laughs> oh. and the pirate orc yeah. and i was i was like oh man i was like this is not the one that i wanted i wanted black hand i wanted something <laughs> cool see it was great because we our raid was actually filled pretty full on wednesday so it dropped and then all of us were raid bosses or dungeon bosses and everything morgrim i think got the absolute best one which was professor putricide <laughs> that's oh, pretty that's good so cool. yeah yeah, I mean, it, it's something that was great. I absolutely loved it. We found a flaw that we hope is a bug. Okay. So I was super excited about this. I'm like, this is a toy that is fantastic. I will drop my 10 bucks on this thing because it's cool. So the 20 minutes goes up. Everybody's costumes are popping off and everything. I drop my transmorpher down. We're all, woo, this is going to be great. And no one can use it. Nope. Because it's an hour cooldown. Yep, it's an hour cooldown on the toy, and then you have no debuff that says, hey, you can't turn into something again. Yeah, I know. And we were all so, so, well, I don't I don't think pissed is the word, but annoyed and confused. They gotcha. Yes. Bummed out. <laughs> Big Brother Blizzard came in, saw your toys, and stepped on them right in front of you. They were like, you <laughs> thought you were going to get away from us this time hour cooldown in your face yeah yeah and it's a toy that they made themselves too they're just like ha crunch uh so, i think blizzard made all the toys that are in the game ben well yeah but i'm saying you know in the specific they're in front of you and stepping on it you know a little visual even, that you threw even the there. train smasher i mean they came up with that toy mm-hmm. to defeat another toy and now they have a toy that just defeats itself <laughs> 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 They decided that they didn't need to have the train smasher thing. They could just smash it themselves and be fine. So, yeah, I'm good with that. So congratulations, <laughs> Blizzard, on doing that one. The toy box continues to be a mysterious mess that no one understands. Actually, plenty of people understand it. I just don't. Yeah, there's one toy that I have in there that I absolutely love that I use all the time. However, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want them to change the cooldown to like one hour or something. Well, what is oh, it? Oh, now I got to yeah, know. Yeah, we want to know. Gotta, now I got to know. Yeah. They're going to okay. ruin all our toys that we like. They should get to ruin yours, too. What is it? Yeah. Okay. Anybody from Blizzard, I'm totally talking about the fire wings, but everybody else, I'm talking about the transdimensional bird whistle. Okay. It's the one that summons Pepe on your head wherever you are. It's got like a two minute <laughs> cooldown or something like that. So if you wipe, you could just boop, call I like again. The, I, I like the monkey ball. Monkey, monkey ball is good. Monkey ball is pretty nice. The simian sphere. <laughs> I have no idea where, like, the first time I ever saw that was, I think, in Dalaran uh, in Northrend. I saw so, someone with that, like, riding around in uh, one of the mecha choppers or whatever. 
and it's so cool. Uh, it just blew my mind. I'm like, this is amazing, and I love Super <laughs> Monkey Ball as well. So it totally works. Yeah, no, it's 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 amazing. And any time that I can be a monkey in any game, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> if that. So wait, what happens if the Hosen become a playable race for the horde? Oh, it, everything's Hosen. I I don't even oh. care. Guess what? CTR Alliance side. <laughs> It's gone. It's Later. It's not even there anymore. I'm I just guess gonna be playing all monkeys. You're hosened. Right. <laughs> no, they're hosened. And I'm hosened, yeah. I guess. Yeah, everybody's I mean, hosed. Right. In the very least, you have to make a monk for some monkey business, right? <laughs> what? Why does it why is it business if it's a monk? <laughs> because it's monkey business. It's a hosen. So Oh monk. E Still working business. on those audio issue, issues? No, I got it. That's you know, <laughs> it took a while. I, I got it. I didn't want it. No, <laughs> no nobody yeah. did. I hear that a lot, actually. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, so okay, talking about how uh, John, you were originally saying about how great it was and how much fun. It's like, you know, someone coming in, giving you a present every couple hours and everything when you're leveling and playing wow and everything. Uh -huh. um, what do you personally think about them potentially doing a level squish? Because apparently it is a hugely divisive thing. If Twitter is to be believed. Yeah, I mean, I had what I think was a very respectful discussion with our buddy Shieldwald about the nature of a level squish. I think the game needs it. He thinks that's an affront to society. We have very strong <laughs> opposing <laughs> views on this. Um, and I understand. See, that's the thing is I get where everybody's coming from on that because I, I do understand at some level that feeling of, I'm level 120 and then you wake up an expansion later and you're level 50 or whatever it gets squished to. And you go, oh, man, what? Like, I get that. But in the same way that I go into a new expansion and I'm like, bring on the greens. I don't care that I spent months farming this purple item. Throw it out. I want to just throw it off a cliff and just watch it go <laughs> like I don't care. I'm I'm good. Get rid of it. Bring on the new stuff. I want new stuff. Like for me that's what the game is. Is it's new stuff, whether that's transmog or abilities or, you know, anything else they want to give me. Mounts, pets, all the stuff that's in WoW. Just give me new stuff. I I don't want to be precious about the things I already have. I want the exciting new things and to see the story unfold and all of that. And so the idea of being like I'm just as powerful as I was, but the number's now 50 instead of 120. I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me. I, I don't feel precious about that the way other people seem to feel precious about that. I'm just like, okay, well, what does that mean for the leveling experience? That's the follow-up question. And if what that means is when I'm playing an alt, every time I level, I get something cool, whether that's a new ability or a more powerful ability I don't count unlocking a new dungeon you can go into. Jeez, that's the dumbest. It's like, you can go into Wailing Caverns. I'm like, okay, thanks. So it's like, hey, you're 17 and can go into R-rated movies now. <laughs> right. It's like, oh. No, that, hold on a sec. That was a big deal. Let's, <laughs> let's just admit that, that that was a big deal. Okay, it was, congratulations, you can smoke if you have no interest in smoking. You're like, okay, okay. Th that's a little better. I've unlocked right. smoking, I guess. I don't know if yeah, I should try I, it or ignore it. I don't know. <laughs> See, uh, I, I worked at a movie theater, so I was, I just got in. It didn't matter. Right. But uh, the point is, is that right now you don't get something every level. And even when you do get something, it's a real coin toss as to whether it's something meaningful or like you just wanted to put something on the screen. And even in a world where they just put something on the screen, they still can't give you something every 120 levels. So I say squish them levels, make it fun, make it interesting. We can go anywhere and level anywhere we want now for the most part. There's some restrictions, but... You know, just let people go out there and experience the world and unlock cool stuff and do what they want to do to level up. And I don't care if that's level 120, level 50, level banana. You can just change it to words. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, just let me go out and experience it. That's how I feel about it. Right. 
So, well, I, I don't know if that was clear enough for everybody out there. Yeah. But apparently, you don't care. I don't care. If there's one oh, thing yeah. that impassioned argument should tell you, <laughs> is that I don't care. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, Pat, you, you've got a couple alts. You've been playing, well, you know, for a year or two, you know, at, at least. Sure. Uh, yeah. Like, how do you feel about the changes that, that have taken place from leveling one to, well, 120? Well, okay, so I did this recently on, because I have a Dark Iron Dwarf, uh, that is my, that is my monk named Doug, that I was talking about earlier. It's a good name. Uh, and I actually went, uh, yeah, for a Dark Iron Dwarf, yeah. yes, Doug is actually probably totally okay. Good. I dig it. Uh, his, his I brother, dig Doug. His, his brother Dig is in the wings right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crap! I'm sorry, Pat. I beat so, you to no, it no, and I ruined it. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, but I do have Dig in the wings, and then I also have Doug. So, um, anyway, but it's but the the leveling process right now is so fast. It is so fast, guys. Um, I don't care about level at all because when i went through like each expansion it was like one plus zones it was like you would do one zone plus maybe a little bit extra um and then if you're doing dungeons on top of that that's fine uh but the the, the leveling process is just so fast now that you can get up to 120 in i mean even just kind of uh, let, let's say kind of being a little bit more casual you can go from zero to 120 in a couple few months which is which seems okay especially when you're going at kind of this this uh neck breaking speed of leveling right now um if you really wanted to do it very quickly you definitely could um you can you can do it in a in a month probably pretty easily now um, the the like uh zone and a half is that more just like after vanilla so yeah i mean after vanilla but i mean even in even in vanilla i think that you're going for um I, i'm trying to think of, of exactly how i did it so in vanilla i think i visited um probably about four or five zones okay uh and then in then i went to wrath of the lich king and i did I think three zones there, kind of. It was like two plus maybe. But yeah. that was, and then in every other one, it was just like one plus zone. So it was like you do an entire zone, do all the bonus questing that it had, whatever it was, um, make sure that you do all the quests, and then you move on to the next zone. And before you fit, before you can even finish the next zone, you're done. And then you're like, okay, I got to move on to the next expansion. So it feels very fast. Yeah. Um, which is actually, which is actually really, really cool. Um, so I don't care about the, I don't care about the, the numbers so much. And if they can make, you know, turning, uh, you know, turning a level over, making that seem worthwhile, like you get something cool out of the deal. That's awesome. Um, I, my, my biggest thing is that, and I'm going to go kind of off book a little bit. Um, <laughs> I have an idea about how they can make it better. Let's hear it. But yeah. they won't like it because it's not going to play very well. <laughs> <laughs> well uh, because, like, off book, this is the best place for that. Right. Mm -hmm, because, mm -hmm. um, because my idea is to do Paragon levels for expansions. Okay. So you have your base model you have your vanilla wow you go zero to 60 that's great whatever that's cool and then each expansion you can go venture out into it and you get paragon levels for that particular expansion and once you reach maximum paragon levels you can go do raiding in that expansion you can go do all those different things you can do all the gearing things um and then you come back into vanilla and guess what you're level 60 you're fine you can do uh whatever you can do black rock crap if you want to you can do you know you can go see original vanilla raid content yeah mm -hmm. and it would be mostly relevant probably yeah. it might look a little old but it would be you know physically possible to have it be kind of competitive and then you go into the next expansion and you do the same thing 
and you and you just do and in these expansions you could have like the particular spells that kind of crop up like you have special spells just for that expansion you go okay great yeah i'm a dk and now i have uh this thing that's called frost death sure and it will automatically kill everybody that i hit this with great but it's only for that expansion you can only have it for that particular thing if you go into uh wrath of the lich king it's gonna be something different if you go into bfa it's gonna be something different there so, i'm all for that. something like that honestly gearing would be impossible which is why yeah, I totally it. yeah <laughs> you know it, it already is it's great right well, I, you uh, know i say break it all <laughs> oh yeah definitely uh in fact uh row in the chat room or sorry realm podcast in the chat room um said that uh you know they do something with leveling like they have with professions now how you know for the expansion it's it's one to 150 for whatever that profession is right and th that sounds similar to to what you're saying and everything too um i do okay so i love the idea of hey this expansion you get something really awesome and cool to use however I hate it when they take anything away. I'm still butthurt yeah. about them taking flame orb away from mages. <laughs> and that was hurt. like, that was like in cataclysm at this point or something like that. See, but with my way, you could go revisit cataclysm and get that back. True. Just for that piece of it, of course. And then it would be gone yeah. forever. Yeah. But I do like the idea of, <laughs> you know, actually going and it's like, Hey, you know what? I don't feel like raiding Dazzlelord today. Hey guys, let's go do Old War. And it's going to be challenging because we're actually at level. Right. Like that that's a cool idea and I do like that. Well, let me play devil's advocate against myself for a moment and ask you guys a question because here's the thing. Okay. When I when I tell myself that a leveling squish is the right way to go, one of the key factors that I tell myself about and it might be a lie is that it's far more attractive to a new player to say, get in the game, get to level 50, and join us on whatever adventure we're going to go on. That's the theory. The reason I say theory is because I think, to some degree in the back of my head, I don't want to say nobody's new to WoW. Like, it, it still gets new players. But I mm -hmm. wonder, is catering to a potential new crowd at this point silly compared to trying to appease the players you currently have? Is WoW, in your guys' opinion in a position where it's just let's keep the players we have for as long as we can you know the people that cycle in and out let them just keep coming back and doing what they're doing rather than try to make the game attractive to people who have never played the game before yeah i mean you gotta you gotta keep it open to new players you can't just you can't cut them off you can't do it I, yeah it, it seems it seems weird, and I this is why I totally agree with you on your on your uh, level squish idea as well, because if you could say, hey, you only have to get up to level fifty, people would be like much more receptive, and they'll say, oh, that's not so bad. Le level fifty, that's not so bad. Level one twenty, level one thirty, where does it end? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you start going, oh, this is nigh impossible. I am never gonna I'm never gonna make it. Yeah. So, I mean, just as a, an example, um, this weekend, WoW is actually free for everybody. You know, you can jump in. If you had an old account, you can jump in. You know, see it, your game's automatically updated to, I think, uh, actual current content, right? Or is it only up through Legion? Uh, one, one or the other. So, no, it is actually through uh, current content because they want people to, to experience all of BFA. The, okay. The, the, the rule is, or the... The caveat is that you can only play three hours of Battle for Azeroth or up until um, a certain quest line. Okay. Uh, as, as, soon as, you as soon as you finish a certain quest, and I can't remember what that is, it's spelled out in the, in the online post. Um, but you can play for three hours in BFA, but you can play unlimited in, in the rest of this stuff, I think. Yeah. Uh, so it's only until you reach the BFA stuff that where you really start to run into problems. So... Because of that, I was very seriously considering telling my sister, hey, guess what? I know you haven't played WoW in forever. It's the weekend. It's free this weekend. You can get up to, you know, this point and everything. Just hop back in just to have fun this weekend. But then I thought, okay, last time she played with us, I think she was in Wrath of the Lich King. So in order for her to actually get up to where we're going, 
It's going to be very daunting. You just you have know? to like, tell it, her to do all the levels she's already done one more time. Right. Or you could do a <laughs> trial. You could do a trial thing where you, yeah. can, where you can say, hey, you can be 110. You can try it out uh, and you can go through your the next couple of hours. I, I don't know how long the trial lasts, but um, you can go through that and, and see what you think and then either make it permanent or not. One way or the other. I and start leveling. I like that uh, Alessandra pointed out in the chat because I feel like this is another big pushback that I hear whenever I'm like, yeah, level squish, and people go, no. Uh, which is, there's a thing called a boost that comes in most expansions uh, that lets you jump up. And, and honestly, I have a big problem with that. Because to me, when you say, hey, you should just boost to, to max level or to relevant content it sends a really bad message that you have mm -hmm. 110, 120, however many levels of content that's just worthless. And I don't think it is for that, for that matter, but I think it sends a message to new players. Ah, just skip it. None of this matters anyway. And, and you're trying to sell people on this world and you're saying, yeah, but just skip it. Who cares? So you want me to buy the game and then you want me to buy the game again so that I can play the game and level up <laughs> another 10 levels. <laughs> right. That's that's mm -hmm. the bad message that it sends to new players or those that are returning is that is that not only do I have to buy the game but now I have to buy it again because now it's 60 bucks to get up to 110. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, we do get a free boost anytime, you know, with the if you buy the new expansion. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. there's that. But I mean, I I've been on both sides of this of um you know, trying to get someone new to play and they're like, oh, I don't want to do, you know, to catch up to you guys. Well, there's a boost. You can do that. And if you like playing, you can make another character and do all the same stuff to get there. And I mean, selling them on either way is a challenge because, again, it's to put in all this time to get to where we are. And it, it does sound daunting. Just just a right. number, you know, hell, level 100 sounded daunting. Level 70 sounded daunting. Yeah, right. It, it's and, it's and, rough. And and for those guys who don't know, Rocket League is like 15 bucks and you can just get in and play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there are games that you can just go in and play and for, for, you know, 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's, that doesn't... that's the tough part. That, that, that's kind of what they're up against is there's so many games now. There are so many different types of games where you can just jump in and play. And WoW is right now when you have a 120 cap, Mm -hmm. that's a that's a high bar well it really is and we've talked about this before you know it was really interesting for me going into legion and then going into battle for azeroth because i had kind of you know assembled this this i, I guess pun intended to some degree core group of players that i played a lot of multiplayer games with and it was like oh we all play together oh what do you know there's five of us and there's a lot of content in this game <laughs> that's good for five people and, you know, we play heroes together and that's so easy. You just jump in, you just play. And I know I've hammered this point home before on this show, but then you look at what the the barrier to entry is for WoW and it's like, okay, well, between the five of you, you all better have the uh, Holy Trinity. You know, mm -hmm. you better make sure you have a tank healer and three DPS of a sort to get through. You can mix it up a little, but not too much. So make sure you all have agreed to this. Then make sure you all get up to 120 and make sure your levels are all there. Then make sure you're available at the same time. There might be some attunements. There might be some quests you got to do that get thrown in there. And it's just hurdle after hurdle after hurdle. And you take these five people that are used to just sitting down and going, you guys want to play Heroes? Yeah, let's play Heroes. Okay. And you get in and you play the game and you go. And I think it's the same deal here. We have a lot of people that are just like, oh, yeah, let's go do that. Oh, except we don't have a warrior. You know, we don't have a tank. We don't have a, a DPS or we don't have enough or, DPS or. Or what's even worse is, oh, no, we both play tanks. Yeah. Or we both play healers or we all play DPS. I, I just figured to throw it all in there. It's just a lot. You know, if every if if everybody just played a druid, we'd be fine. Yeah. Or a monk. Or a monk. Yeah. Or a paladin. Or a paladin. <laughs> no, not paladins. No, paladins no, are no. Horrible. <laughs> Especially for healing. No. Right. Right. They're, they're not good. <laughs> um, and that that is one of the biggest challenges, though. Is you know, 
we even have it now in in our raid team. It's uh, you know a whole big group of people, but for the most part, for most of the fights, we only need two tanks. Sometimes we need three. Uh, we're at the point where some fights we only need three healers. Sometimes we need four, and it, it varies on needing those actual specific you know roles in order to be successful. And that's one of the rough things trying to get everybody in who you want to play. It's like great we can always use more people for our raid team woo you know more friends and stuff oh you're a tank though never mind <sighs> wow problems man i yeah. know and i mean it's the nature of the beast right like we've all kind of signed our little wow contract that says we understand that we have three roles and we need to be filled and we will do what we have to do <laughs> and and we get it but there is that element when you're trying to bring in new people or trying to bring people back who are maybe just looking to play with friends at, mm -hmm. in an MMO, uh, wanting to do activities with their friends, and you have to sell them on this notion of, man, oh, you should just get in there with us. Okay, right. well, I think it might be cool to be like, uh, like a stabby rogue. No, 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 no. My friend, let me tell you what's cooler than the thing you thought was cool. What if you had a shield and stuff hit you, and if you didn't do your job right, everyone yelled at you? Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> I, I just I just want to re reiterate uh, one of the things that we're talking about. It's that um, this is this is how it's this is how it looks as a new person. Right. This is not how mm -hmm. we look at it necessarily. Although we we find this in our in our daily WoW lives anyway. Uh, but strictly for new people, it's a little daunting. It's mm -hmm. it's hey. You got to get up to 120. Hey, you got to play something uh, that nobody else is playing so that you have a spot. And uh, hey, you better be good at it. Otherwise, people are going to yell at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no pressure, but we're all so, counting on you to do your job perfectly. So you should totally play. I just want to make sure we're clear on, 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 on what we're talking about instead of uh, you know people yelling at us saying, how do you not know how to play WoW? No, no. Oh, we, we'll get that anyway. No, we, right. I mean, sure, <laughs> we don't know how to play WoW. Fine. Uh, but uh, we've been not playing WoW for a long time, so. Yeah. And so it's it's one of those things that, you know, you think about it more and more. It, it made more sense back then. And you can get old man about it and be like, eh, back then it was fine. Why isn't it fine now? But I think more to the point is WoW uh, blazed a trail to some degree and really set kind of a standard and an expectation and now we're getting to a point where games are evolving beyond it in a different way they're they're not trying to copy wow anymore now you've got games like destiny and you know anthem although i don't like it that much but uh you've got these other games coming in that are saying <laughs> let's do our little spin and our little take on it and um you know, here's how we think the formula should work. And, you know, maybe we get rid of levels. Maybe we make it just about item level, or maybe we just make it about this or do that. And people are doing all sorts of new things. And because they're no longer trying to play catch up to what World of Warcraft's doing, now they're actually showing a little innovation. And now you've got the WoW players going, man, that's nice. It's kind of easy if I want to play with my friends and we can just play. Right. And just get we in can there. just play. We could just play Overwatch or Heroes of the Storm or, or Diablo or whatever and be yeah. mostly okay. Yeah. So, okay, this is actually kind of funny and raised a, a point in my head. Uh, Alessandra pointed out, or you could play Classic WoW where you raid need, raids need 40 people. Okay, I get Oof. that, but look at it this way. <laughs> so Classic, classic WoW comes days. out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> classic WoW comes out. The level cap 60, you're trying to get someone to play. They look at it, cap is 60 versus cap is 120. Which way am I going to go? And then they go into classic and the XP gains aren't there and then nothing is. <laughs> and then they're stuck playing the stupid game for two years before they hit 60. <laughs> oh, hey guys, no. I have five gold. I'm rich. This is amazing. And they're a mage, so they're stuck making water for the entire group <laughs> for the entire raid. That's so, it. That's all they do. Then so they Pat, frostbolt every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, not excited for classic, I take it. <laughs> 
I'm super stoked, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super stoked for for classic WoW um, oh, yeah. because I think that will make people really appreciate current WoW. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I'd, are you kidding? I'm so excited to play my Torn Paladin in uh, in Classic. It's going to be great. Oh, boy. Well, uh, I've got hmm. news for you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I have to be a Blood Elf? That's right. That came in Cataclysm. Mm. Mm. See, mm. I hope you don't like <laughs> Paladins that much, friend. Let me, let me tell you, uh, maybe you should start out Shaman. Oh, you know? okay. I mean, you know, the well, I mean, Shaman... I've always wanted to play a dwarf shaman. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, mm. dwarf. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, this was before <laughs> dwarves knew about elements. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, a goblin shaman then. Okay. They didn't have enough. They didn't have enough um, uh, uh, material to make totems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. So. Yeah, goblins right. existed, but they didn't. So it's just better that you pretend <laughs> they don't. Oh yeah, worgen in classic. Yeah. Wouldn't that classic be classic worgen? <laughs> You'd have to play only in Silver Pine and as an NPC. Yeah, getting chased. You're like, oh, it's just like right. the quest in Gilneas. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I just realized? Scott mm. is probably just going to make a character, go to Thousand Needles, and just camp there and then just be done with the game. <laughs> yeah, he probably will. I mean, that's the thing is, like, uh, that's the appeal to Classic to me is to go yeah. see the pre cata zones and go, yeah. All right. Right. Cool. Yeah, just just fly on over, take a look. No, nope, uh... not Ben, <laughs> not flying. Okay, oh. <laughs> buddy. Yeah, you're not flying anywhere. No okay, horn well, paladins, no alliance shamans, no flying, no goblins, no blood okay, elves. Okay. Well, I'll hop nope. on my mount at twenty and just ride down there. I don't think so. I don't. I <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Oh, oh, that's a bummer. All right. Plus, right. you're gonna my, carry my, that so, mount in your bag. So one of, my, one of my best, one of my one of my favorite moments, and maybe you guys could chime in with your favorite moments as well, of, of like when you were fresh playing WoW, when you were walking everywhere because you didn't have enough gold to buy a mount, whatever the case may be. Um, see, now I started late, so we so there was actually mounts at twenty, but I couldn't afford it right away because mm -hmm. I I didn't know what gold was or anything. Right. Um, and so I'm walking around in uh, in the Barrens, not in northern or southern, just the Barrens. Right. Mm -hmm. It was when it was all one. Yep. yep. <laughs> and I saw this path. I was going south, and I saw this path going left. And I said, you know what? I don't know what's over there. I, saw, I looked on the map, and I, I saw that it was a new, new place, but I didn't know, understand what was going on yet because uh, I was like level 20-ish, 18, 20, something yeah. like that. So I go left on this path, and I get this new little swing, you know, and it kind of says, you are now in a new place. And then an alligator chomped me in half. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Dust Wallow Marsh, and you have to be like 30-something to go in there. Oh. And it just chomped me, and I went, ah! Uh, and uh, yes, that was the sp that was also the scariest moment in WoW for me. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected scare. Oh man! Move. Uh, so so maybe you guys have a story similar to that. I don't so know. when I got in and started playing, this was uh, near the end of Burning Crusade, and uh, luckily, you know, John had been poking and prodding me to get into WoW for forever. So. I made my my blood elf and I'm, you know, kind of leveling up and everything. He's like, hey, I have a better place for you to, le to level. Come with me. We're going to take you wherever. So he took me to the to the other continent somehow, some reason. I don't know why. But apparently he took me the long way around and we made our way through Desolus somehow. And all I remember is that there's just demons everywhere. Things are falling from the sky. And I am terrified because this stuff is like way higher level than me. <laughs> Then he, he drops me off somewhere. He's like, okay, quest here, bye, and then leaves. And I'm like, I have no idea where I am, no idea how to get back to any place. I'm just like, okay. This so is, I just that, kind of started that questing. Actually, that actually sounds like a lot of Saturday nights that I've had. <laughs> <laughs> IRL. 
This is how you can tell that I cut my MMO teeth on EverQuest, because I don't believe you're experiencing an MMO until you have run terrified through a zone you had no business being in, <laughs> and then got left somewhere in the middle of the world with no idea how to get home. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, oh, yeah. to me, an MMO. Uh, as soon as... I know there's been a big, like, portal controversy. Uh, I have... I went into the new portal room. I was like, this is pretty. And uh, so far, I have not been that adversely affected by it. Uh, I'm sure I will brush up against whatever the great sin of our age is at some point. But so far, I haven't seen it. Um, and that was the that was the thing is just, you know, to me, there is something amazing about the world when you kind of feel trapped in it. You know, I always mm -hmm. say that I like leveling in Vashir and everyone goes, why? <laughs> i I'm think so 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 guys i think we should do a new show okay and call it naked and afraid in azeroth <laughs> yes and just go that. no gear and just dropped off somewhere and you have to fight for your life <laughs> that's the entire thing and you're dropped off in a new zone every week new little area and you have to fight for your life and let's hope that you're of level somehow. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. all about it. Uh, just, all now, right. do you just have to like find your way back home, or do you just have to survive? I think you just have to survive for 30 days, <laughs> or whatever it is. Is it like two weeks? I don't know what the show we is. We just give yeah. new people a free trial, and they just have to last their free trial. <laughs> <laughs> but you're only given grays, and you have to go in, and you have to, and you have to make life happen. Yeah, well, somehow. this is actually really easy to do because we have flying mounts. And if we have two passenger mounts, we just say, hey, get on. Right. And then fly wherever and then just kick them off. Yeah. Right. Just you're gone, right. naked and afraid. And it's, and it's <laughs> two new people to wow. And they're just dropped off naked and afraid. Yeah. And in some in some remote area. And, and then we're like, goodbye. With the glory of <laughs> flying mounts, we can film it all. Just we'll be the yeah. up in the air camera crew. Just. <laughs> right yeah that would be amazing be great that'd be really great and then all of a sudden one of them gets taken out by a tyrannosaurus i like new it. show everybody coming soon oh and this is one of those things where we actually get to see well I, not in real life but we actually get to see the whole you just need to run faster than your friend because <laughs> <laughs> the bear is chasing you guys run faster than your friend that's it Actually, no, you want to run slightly behind because if they're closer, they'll get the initial aggro. Mm. Run slightly mm. slower than your friend. Until Maybe. the last moment. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then hopefully off. you're a mage and you can blink. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, man, this would be amazing. I'd watch this. I'd watch yeah. this show. This is a good show. Right. Right. I feel would like... we have any sort of class restrictions? Hmm. Oh... Well, I I don't think I don't think everybody has to has has to have class, but it would help. <laughs> well, well do we want them to be able to stealth? Yeah. <laughs> That's the equivalent of being a good hider. Sure. <laughs> sure. Well, then again, if we drop them off in a much higher level zone than they're supposed to be, the stealth won't really matter, will it? Yeah. If, I mean, if they're it. really new players, it won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> just watch the carnage. Yeah, we dropped 30 level ones off in Dustwallow Marsh, and let's see who makes it out. <laughs> that is the worst zone to do that in. Oh, my in. God. That would be horrible. No, no, all we need to do is drop them off at... There used to be a mage quest line that took you there to, like, learn some spell or something. Drop them off at that house. It's, like, almost in the middle of the swamp. Just leave them there. Oh, that would be, be like, awful. first one back through the gates of Orgrimmar... Wins. Or to that gold. burned out in. I guess they could make it to the end. Let's not make them go too crazy. Well, yeah, we've. Oh, I no. mean, we've had the. We've had like the running of the gnomes and stuff and stuff like that before, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. where where you people like big groups of people go out in level ones and and then you have uh, people of normal level uh, kind of chaperoning them. It's just without the chaperones. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. not on a road. I, I think that that would be a wrong move is to have it anywhere near a road. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just to Can't make sure that road. there's some aggro right away and people dying all over the place. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. I'm like, a, okay, so Dust Wall of Mars. This is a, this is a show. Well, this is a full show, guys. Searing Gorge. We got to throw him in there. Ooh, yep. 
Yeah, that's a that's just a tough one to navigate anyway. Right. I can't I'm imagine right. trying to run for your life the whole time too. <laughs> Winter, spring, all of this down. in December. Yeah. I don't know why okay. December makes it better, but there you go. <laughs> uh, points if their character is blue. <laughs> sure. You know, because of the frostbite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Writing all of this down. I'm jotting notes. Oh, good. Yeah. We'll make it happen. God, yeah. I, I really want to watch this now. It'd be <laughs> great. participate. Either or. It'd be great if they found some way to band together and level up and, like, get to a point where they could actually fight back a little. Like, it won't happen, but it would be great. But it would be like could. Lord of the Flies, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. it would be kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, okay. what if. What if dueling granted just a little bit of XP? <laughs> or what if there was like a free for all WoW server and killing another player granted a little bit of XP? And we just dropped them all in the zone. And we're like, good luck. But if they fought enough people, they could theoretically level up and they could actually survive. But they'd have to kill another man. Well, question it, though. When you kill someone or if you die, are you just done with the challenge? Uh, you're. I, I mean, obviously, I think I think that that I think you only have in, in this in this particular scenario. You only have one life to live. I feel like we are a couple revisions of this idea away from coming up with WoW's Battle Royale mode. Yeah, I think we're almost there. Okay, a hundred people get dropped into Dust Swallow Marsh with nothing, <laughs> but there's items littered around the marsh that they can use. Okay, so a couple yeah. things that I'm noticing in chat: um, you get XP by like picking flowers and doing pet battles and stuff. I'm guessing they go in with no trade skills, no pets, nothing. Why? Why would you go in with anything? This is naked and afraid, everybody. This is not. This is not. Oh, look! I have a furry pet to be my pal. No, nothing. Why would you do that? Okay, so hunters without pets, definitely. Oh yeah. The, the, hunters have to play survival. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. It's the one spec. Oh my gosh, this would be amazing. I would love yeah. it. I mean, it, it, John, you're right. This is pretty close to a battle royale mode which i mean with how popular they are i can see blizzard throwing like a battleground in there as a battle i as actually a, uh, battle think royale. that if they can handle the player count and all of that i think a battle royale in wow could actually be fun yeah you got to put it in like angoro though yeah or something i mean because yeah. i mean you put it with big ass dinosaurs <laughs> as well <laughs> that would and and also all those bugs yeah. <laughs> oh yeah Oof. Oh, I hate those silicons. Horrible, horrible. So I think if you do that, and and plus it's like self-contained, so it's like it's very round. So yeah, the circle could be about. lava. Yeah, not Ooh, even uh, though yeah. technically the lava should come from the middle of it out, but you know whatever. Ah, I could go, go from anywhere. Yeah, to anywhere. It's fine. Help. Just have them make a new uh, a new island. Okay. Well, now you're getting ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We're just offended now, Ben. <laughs> okay, so how many people are going to pick Warrior because they can use most weapons? So if you find one, you can actually use it. Well, I feel like, like the power-ups would be kind of like what you get in uh, like Warsong Gulch, where you run over it. Like maybe it's a like there's a blue sword and there's a purple sword and there's an orange sword and okay. you get it and it just gives you a class appropriate weapon and then same okay. with armor okay. and then you just run over it and chink you got gear on and you're like yeah i'm good sure you you don't have to think about it too much yeah okay i like right. it all right i feel so... like we've created television and a new game mode today i think we're really good at this hold on okay right. so I, I'm just trying to think just bare minimum con conceptual here. You, mm -hmm. you pick a class just because you need a class. Right. Would uh, spellcasters actually be able to cast spells? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just um, that they'd be at such a low level that it really wouldn't do much. Yeah. Okay. Right? Like you would have to get that gear upgrade would feed into your spells. You know, you'd get you, your eye level goes up. Your spells hit harder. It yeah. Would, it but, would be it would be like a hunter punch. You know, I mean, it's not going to do much. Yeah. For but you. if they are finding other people, I'm picturing uh, like, you know, low level frost, frostbolt hitting a hunter who's trying to run up and melee someone. 
Sure, yeah. but you still need a wand or something like that to okay. make it stronger. Okay, so you, you do need something. Sure. Yeah, otherwise you're like, a, you know, you start with a snowball. You okay. end with a real cool thing. Okay, okay. Like an ice lance or something. See, I'm just trying to trying to think balance versus automatic. Hey, I've got a ranged weapon. Balance, balance. Got as long as one person you. wins and everyone else dies, we did it. <laughs> right. Nobody cares about balance. This isn't a game about balance. This is a game about this kill or be killed. Right. Very true. So, do you think he thought it was balanced in Battle Royale when he got a, a pan? Uh, or a boomerang or whatever it was that he got and someone else got a gun. He didn't think that was balanced. No. Ah. But when they started out, they were exactly equal. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we all we all would be like you would have sure. like two sticks as a rogue and you could go poke people with your sticks. Frost Mage would throw snowballs at people. You know, it's not going to okay. do it enough okay. times. You would kill a man. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, it takes. You ever a hear while. of death of a thousand cuts? <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, let's just say a rogue with two sticks can probably hurt Snowball. someone harder than some snowballs. <laughs> Unless, okay, so uh, level two is snowballs with uh, rocks in them. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, actually, it's uh, snowballs that have been peed on. I think yeah. we're going with the South Park reference, <laughs> old, old South Park game. They would pee on the snowballs, and then that would make them better. Yeah. Good call. More powerful. Better or worse? It, look, sometimes Both. you defeat somebody by <laughs> truly defeating them. Sometimes you defeat them by making them not want to play the game anymore. <laughs> That's actually true. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can win at Monopoly by, you know, taking everybody else's money, or you can win at Monopoly by being so obnoxious everybody quits playing Monopoly and you're the last one left standing. Usually they're the same people. Funny. Mm. How that works. <laughs> It is kind of amusing how that works. Well, anyways, Pat, thank you very much for joining us on this wonderfully fun episode of Wait, Azeroth. That's Round it. Season. That's oh, it. Oh man! <laughs> wow, the time flew by, guys. I don't it even did. know where it went. It did went quite, quite, uh, quite fast in this this uh, battle of. With I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm trying this to jump back into battle royale. Battle thing. Yeah. Didn't wow, work. wow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think that's what they should name it, and I don't think they should think about it at all. I think they should just <laughs> should just go just with call it. That, guys. Mm -hmm. Battle wow wow. Down. Battle wow wow wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, until next time, we have you on. Where can people find you, Pat? Uh, of course, uh, the Convert to Raid show is at uh, convertraid.com, and and I'm on all of the socials at Pat Crane, and that's Crane with a K. All right. Uh, John, what about you? Where can people find you? If you want to hear more from me, follow me on Twitter at John underscore Jagger. I'll let you know where I'll be. If you want to you hear should me. redo that because you cut out right when you said great. It. Hey, everybody, John here. I'm going to try again. If you want to hear more from me, you can follow me on Twitter at John underscore Jagger. I'll tell you where I'll be. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about video games, I do a show called Core. Core. Uh, it's Core. part of the Frog Pants Network. We talk about video games. Mm -hmm. that we play anyone in particular many games that we talk about <laughs> one game we talk about a lot of games we we're going to talk about it we also uh I, I do a show called there will be dungeons uh now interestingly enough there will be dungeons we just finished what we're dubbing year one of there will be dungeons uh so we're doing a first year we're kind of taking a little bit of a break, but we're still putting content out on the same days for the same period of time. So really, it's mostly we're giving Bo a break. Uh, so if people want to check that out uh, tomorrow, Ben, you are going to be on the show, actually. You are going to yes, be hosting a year one Q&A where we answer anybody's questions they might have about the campaign. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And then I'm going to be running a two episode one shot. Uh, so two shot the next yeah two shots i guess the, the <laughs> it's a double shot it's a double yeah. shot yeah, yeah there you go when you really need the caffeine push uh that'll right. be the next two weeks following and then we should be back right the week following that the fourth week whatever i don't know the numbers it's not my job to know the numbers just know there's going to be stuff so check it out numbers ben yes john i did that expertly and so i'm yes, sorry you, you have to follow it <laughs> What are you up to? 
Uh, well, first of all, best place to find me is on Twitter. I am at Ben Bumhofer. That's mm-hmm. right. I changed my name. To Bumhofer. No, well, I changed my Twitter name. That, that's always been Oh, name. okay. Yeah. I was going to yeah, say, if you could pick <laughs> anything. I always, I always thought your last name was the mage. Yeah, a lot of people thought that. And then I started mm-hmm. playing a monk, and they're all like, I don't know what's going on anymore. My world is falling apart. His parents really set him up for failure with that one. He was yeah, like, I really guess did. I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other than that, uh, you can find me on... Uh, d- 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 you can find me on Good Twitch. job. You I did s- it, Ben. I, I didn't, know. I didn't think you'd be able to, but you Wait, did it. Yeah, that, that's for you. That's Thank for you, you uh, Anyways, I'm, I've been streaming The Last of Us on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Ben Bumhofer. And I gotta say, that game's really good. It is. That's a that's a really awesome game, actually. Yeah, it's a fir- my first time through, and I am excited. I just got to winter. Ooh, it's a yes. big moment in that game. Yes, it is. And uh, when I was streaming last time, my internet cut out in the middle of it. Great. So I have it in two parts. <laughs> Perfect. But uh, anyways, so check that out. Uh, this show, though, Azeroth Roundtable, you can find us on Twitter. We are at AzerothRT. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, want to uh, tell us what you think about uh, Battle Wow Wow, uh, go ahead and send those emails to oh, right, AzerothRoundTable at gmail.com. <laughs> yes, Battle Wow Wow. Battle yeah. Wow Wow. I'm, that's the name of the episode. Just Little Bow down. Wow Wow. I'm trying to figure Wait, out the best way to actually spell it, too. <laughs> But uh, anyways, all of our episodes are found on AzerothRoundtable.com as well as on uh, iTunes and Google and Spotify and all those wonderful places. So uh, check us out if you like this episode and it happened to be your first. All right. If you didn't like it, then that's cool, too. And if it's your first, maybe try another one, too. I don't know. I mean, you know, if if you're if you're kind of questioning what's going on with this show, listen to another one. Yeah. yeah and then it. after that, listen to another one because, I mean, you know. Yeah, you need a good sample size. Right. Yeah. Check for yeah. consistency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. John here at the end of the show because uh, we decided that if one person talked for too long, it was weird. So I want to talk to you today at the end of the show, again, just to remind everybody where we are in this process, about John, value. John, 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 don't Hi. go on too long or it's going to get weird. Hi, let me tell you about value. Uh, This episode here today featured not only Pat Crane, featured not only a definitive decision about the level squish being the right thing to do. uh, There's no debate anymore. That debate is in bed because we figured it out right here. Uh, We invented a TV show. It'd probably be streamed, I guess, because it'd be a video game. But we invented a whole show. Uh, with Naked and Afraid Wow. We invented a whole game mode called Battle Wow Wow. <laughs> I think. That's what Battle it's called. Wow, wow. Something Battle, like that. Battle Wow They're Wow. Think, think Royale, but Wow Wow Wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> that's a whole lot of show. And that's one episode. Now, I know what you're thinking. A show that gave me that much in a single episode. Well, I want to give something back. I want to show that show that they mean something to me. I want to show that show they need to keep inventing and pushing the limits of what's acceptable on Twitch. Well, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash AzerothRT and helping make this nightmare real. We want to thank the Murloc Club who has done that. We give them a special shout out. That's Brandon O, Caleb M, Jesse O, Jim G, Haster, Sash, and Aaron. Thank you so much for being part of the Murloc Club. <laughs> yep, that's Ben saying thank you as Murloc. That was just for mm-hmm. you. I know we did it last week too, but it was just for you this week. Uh, yeah, everybody, Murloc Club or not, who supports us, we appreciate it. Patreon.com slash AzerothRT. It's about value. And with that, chat room, you're great as always. Pat, thank you again for joining us. John, well, you're th- weird. Uh, oh. Everybody's weird. Thank that you was... guys so much for being weird weird with me, for going yeah. along with me on Battle Wow Wow and <laughs> all the different <laughs> weirdness. Look, it's just fun to say. It is. Yeah. Battle yeah. Wow Wow. Everybody Battle say wow. it. Everybody say it to yourself silently uh, so that your co-workers don't see. 
so that um, nobody, nobody like sitting on the bus or, or on the train can, can really see it. But just like mutter it to yourself, just, but just like, but just like whisper it. Yeah. Battle, battle, wow, wow. Yeah, oh, you don't need battle, wow, wow, like nobody's watching. Battle, wow, wow. Yeah. yeah, you don't want people to think you're having a stroke. <laughs> And with that, or, thank you for joining do. us. I mean, you know, some people really want the attention, Ben. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> and with that, thank you, everybody, for listening. Have a fantastic week and be good to each other. Bye now. And that's a podcast. Hey! That was funny. <laughs> that was really funny, guys. Uh, that was a blast. That was awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. And the time just went by like, that i it mean it did. was just uh it was very it was very quick so <laughs> surprisingly so now, everybody, now everybody wants pat asmr yeah <laughs> oh you should do that i won't check it out because i found out that I'm if i watch an asmr out. stream i just i feel wrong yeah no there's something weird about it right yeah i mean it just it's so creepy because everybody's whispering number one yeah which which i don't uh, i i think that there should be an asmr for for normal folk Mm-hmm. <laughs> where it's like hey guys listen to this <laughs> you know whatever yeah. it is i mean it, it could be whatever it doesn't even matter <laughs> oh man you know what drives me the craziest on that stuff like i randomly caught someone i don't know if it was on uh, twitter or whatever i'm like asmr i'm like okay let's see what they're doing and so they're whispering and everything but they're smacking their lips so much oh, oh i hated it so much i'm just like <laughs> ben stop like, why are you but, but doing it you're like this just, drove me crazy now i'm gonna do it to you all the, the worst one i saw was somebody it was this, this uh a woman eating glue what <laughs> and i'm like she like elmer's glue she had elmer's glue and she was like, <laughs> and it was just like, oh my god. i was just like oh my god oh. no don't do it uh, so oh. wrong and this you didn't make it better no <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, she did not. She did uh, not make better. <laughs> worse or better? It was, <laughs> no, it was, it was worse. definitely it was totally worse. worse. Yep, she definitely uh, made better. And the other worse. thing that I don't like about the ASMR streams is that they have the the microphone where it's two ears. Have you? Oh, yeah. Have, have yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. that where it's actually two like fake ears that are that are on either side, and so then they're like whispering into the ears, and I'm like going. But there's no there's no person there, so it's just it's weird. It's just this weird thing. It's know. you know people do their things and they're gonna do their things, but it's just it's that thing that I walk away from and I go, it's huh. I don't know. It's the same feeling I had uh, as a youth when I first discovered pornography, and I was <laughs> like, well, this is new and exciting. And then your parents got home and you were like. Oh. I feel like everybody just somehow knows I did something awful. That's how I feel after I leave one of those streams. It's just just immense guilt for... And I look at it and I'm like, all I did was watch a Twitch stream for a little bit and go, what? And then I walk away from it and I have all the guilt as if I've done something horrible. So, John, I have a number that uh-huh. you might want to call <laughs> There's... of somebody that could help. Okay. Uh, that's yeah, good because so he called me and that was awkward <laughs> i was like ben right, right, and i thought he did something wrong and yeah. so yeah right ben, well, I no at first he's all no he was all ben i did something wrong ben, oh because it was a, what i was doing just a minute ago <laughs> I, was, I was i was i was watching asmr i was watching asmr and they were they were doing things <laughs> chat room, chat room. Mm. Oh, yes. Here today, I want you all to feel guilty as if you've seen something very dirty. Very dirty. Wait, what's going on? I'm going to keep saying dirty in a weird way. I'm going to stop paying attention. That emphasizes will... the T in dirty. Dur- dirty. Dirty. Hey, John, dirty. This is the dirty would you... stream. John, would you like some Mountain Dew? A Mountain Can... Dew. Can we change the uh, game? Uh, can we change the, 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 the title of the show to be ASMR? And then we'll all just whisper. That's it. We're not actually going to do any of the ASMR <laughs> yeah. bit, bits. We're just whisper. Yeah. So, we've re- <laughs> so, so we have to redo the show. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, go, Ben. Welcome, Welcome to Azeroth Roundtable, episode 312. I'm Ben Malmoth. I'm excited that it's the week. Our 
aren't you excited? With me, as always, is John Jagger. How's it going, John? Hello. <laughs> ben. It's Friday night here in Azeroth, and I'm super happy to be joining you here at the table. <laughs> ASMR roundtable. <laughs> so awesome. So that is so awesome. I love that. Uh, we did great. it. You know, that's the best thing... Title. If you really want that, all you need to do is turn the volume down really low and then listen to the show. Or send me money and I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud. <laughs> At least and, you're honest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and yes, uh, it was, yeah, we, could, could, we know it's not dirty. We're just saying that to each their own. That's all we're saying. <laughs> like whispering doesn't work for me. Because I have trouble hearing. I just like to imagine Wicked, not to, you know, laugh at people's inability to hear things. You know, it's fine. But I just imagine that for the past, like, ten minutes while we did this, she's just like, what are they doing? They're just getting weirdly close to their microphone. Right. My wife also has, has a, like, can't hear out of one ear. And so it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, if I'm on the wrong side, it's like, I can't whisper, I can't do anything. Yeah, you know, it's like you gotta be, honey. What are what are we doing this weekend? What is going on? Are we going? To, do you want to go shopping? Blah blah. blah you know, whatever it is. And so, yeah, I feel like I'm on the wrong side of my wife. Geek Jock right uh, has that as well, and I roomed with him for BlizzCon oh, one time, right. and my key to my room stopped working i couldn't get into the hotel room and i'm banging on the door to be let in but he was laying on the ear he can hear out of and the ear that he doesn't hear very well out of was up and he couldn't hear me so i'm out in front of the hotel at like three in the morning going geek let me in <laughs> who's letting it under that that could really be anyone like that's trying to assault the door just the chances of someone there for Nerdtacular are pretty good, so geek! <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. That was ASMR Roundtable. Thank you all for joining us for the uh, launch episode. Uh, we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. uh, as we and, said and... in that, it is the weekend now. You did make yeah. it. And uh, good luck to all of you. Right. As we start the uh, Naked and Afraid episode, which is going to be coming up uh, shortly. Yeah. As soon as we find, right. As soon as we find uh, thirty people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to go in a dust wall of marsh. Yeah, <laughs> rando, just uh oh, rando drop zone. Okay, I guess we're all gonna die. Have drop fun. Them, yeah. Drop them right on an alligator. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, just they just go right <laughs> into the jaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they land right into Nixia's lair. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. Please That'd stop hiding in a Nixia's lair. We know you're in there. Right. Actually, that's not a bad place to hide because those paths don't go super far up. No, they don't. But I also would want like a starvation rule on, the, yeah. on that stuff. Yeah. You can stay in one place for too long. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. You starve to death. You stop moving. You starve to death. Just like sharks. All right, everybody. <laughs> that's how it works. That's science. You all have a good weekend. We will see you later. Thanks, everybody. Except for the ones that can stop. Don't correct my science at the end of the show. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs>